Hello everyone. This is RJ Razor One. Otherwise known as Ray Jackson. I chose to do this um, tutorial because I haven't done one in a while. So here I'm doing a portrait, a pinup style portrait. So right now I'm sculpting the face. This is a, probably the, one of the easiest ways for me to do my portraits. I use a gray background, then I pick a secondary layer, and I paint basically a white and black to bring out the lights and the darks. Later on I'll go into the highlights and shadows. Also I only use three brushes. I'm using Photoshop Elements 10. The brushes I use are either Round Hard, Round Soft, and one speckle brush that you'll probably see later on that, that I sometimes throw in just to um, give it certain edges a little texture. And for hair like Afro hair and a few other little items. So right now I'm sculpting the face. I'm bouncing back between black and white. I'm giving the, the shadows, the contours of the face. Keeping in mind the dimensions and the curvature of like the cheekbones, jawbone, lips, nose, eyes. So here I'm filling in the hair and the, I'm darkening it to pop, make the face pop out. Because the image that, that I chose to do was basically a dark image, which was predominantly in black and white, but I'm going to redo the image digitally and then I'm going to colorize it. So then I'm just puffing out the hair more, giving the shoulders and upper torso shape and definition. The way the my resource photo was is, is the shoulders and the face are lit the breast is lit as the arms go further under the the breast or closer to her body it gets darker so eventually the light just you know the light fades away and it goes more into the shadows almost to the point of a silhouette so as you can see here I'm still sculpting out the torso the lower torso giving the definition I'm content with the face, but I'll go back to the face. I'll, I'll bounce all over the place. So keep bringing out the definition. If I see it doesn't quite look right, I'll leave it alone and I'll go to something else and I'll concentrate on that. But I can see my basic process. And I can see the progress of my work as I'm doing it. So now I shaded the background so, make, so, so that it's it will blend in and tie in with the piece. It gives it the atmosphere that it needs. Since she's partly silhouetted, the background shouldn't be so bright. <clears throat> so now, I'm, as you see, I'm back to the face. Excuse me. And I'm working on the, the eyes and the, the cheek structure. I'm still working on the nose. I'm fine tuning it. And still deepening the, the eye sockets and and the ears and the, at least the, the appearance of the ears. Some of this in silhouette has a tendency to um, trick the human eye. And I'll, I'll, you'll see a demonstration of that in just a moment, or a little later on. <clears throat> I'm still basically moving all over the place on this but it's coming up pretty much like my resource photo that I used. The actress I chose is Pam Greer. She was from uh, the 70s. She did a lot of uh, black exploitation movies. Um, she was very, very popular during that era. And I just thought that I would be able to, to recreate the photo and enhance it, colorize it, and just uh, put it up on YouTube and show everybody. Um, this is, you know, so far up to my um, my progress so far. I've only been doing this for probably four years. 
Uh, I predominantly get paid more for my pencil work, for doing pencil portraits, graphite portraits, charcoal portraits, uh, mostly dry mediums. I'm just starting to get into airbrushing, um, but that's um, that'll be something else later on down the line that, that I might put up. So here I'm still tweaking. <coughs> Excuse me, I do have a slight cold. <coughs> And I'm still tweaking and enhancing and fine fine tuning the, the garment, the way the garment drapes on her, the way it's hanging over because she's slightly bent forward, but at the same time you know, her body is slightly twisted. I put in the hip, the lower torso is is all me. I added that in because that was not in the, my original photo source. So I figured I would you know slightly change it and give it a flair of my own. So I put in her left hip and her thigh and her right hip and thigh will be totally in shadow. Here I started to colorize it. So now I'm just, um, I picked another layer. I added my base color and I went into overlay and I basically colorized her. Because I work, because of the way I work with my black and whites and my grayscales, I was able to add the, just add the color, overlay the color over it, tone it down just to here, and everything else shines through. And it's similar to airbrushing. If, if you work with airbrushing and you do something that's opaque and then you color it with a, with a transparent color, and then you add another transparent color, it's almost the same thing. So here I added like a, a nice red background, red to burgundy background. So I'm still playing with, with the color a little bit. Uh, right there you saw it go back to its traditional color because I had to go in and fine tune the color a little bit. So I went back, picked the, selected the color, then put it back into overlay and colorized the area that I think that it missed. So now I'm still fine tuning. I eventually I end up collapsing this into one layer. and then just tweaking it from there. So roughly in a couple of minutes, I probably collapse it into one, one layer once I'm satisfied with it. And then I start just fine tuning what's left. So here I'm just cleaning up the edges. Working on the edge so the, the silhouette pops. It's, it's not supposed to be it's not supposed to be too vibrant where you know everything just pops out. So you're supposed to always keep getting drawn back to her, back to her face. And when you look at it for a while, you'll you'll scan the image. You look at the face, you scan the image, and your eye just your eye will gravitate back up to her face. That's the, that was that's my intention. Now, hopefully, I'm getting it right. So here I already, I already condensed it into one layer and I'm just tweaking the colors and the edges and I'll, I'll flip flop it just to see if it looks decent from you know, other angles. What I didn't do on this, I didn't, I didn't flip it, like I didn't mirror image it, which I probably should have in retrospect, but I, I didn't do that. So this is predominantly done on, I would say, four layers. Gray being the background layer, her sketch, the skin tone, and the color of the blouse. Okay, and the, and the background, so it's five layers. And then they all get condensed, and then I fine tune and I sharpen. Her panty line is, I use that speckle brush to give the illusion that it's, it's ruffled and it's so far in the shadows and it's you know your your mind's eye fills in the blanks so I, I thought that worked pretty well now I go back to the face to fine-tune the face and I see little little nicks here and there that I wanted to correct so I keep going in I reshape it and I give give her that partial smile that she had in the photo and that's basically it thank you for watching